Hi, I'm David Kirkham, President of Kirkham Motorsports. Thanks for joining us for another edition of Kirkham Motorsports University today. Today I'm going to show you how to repair a fender. We have a customer who's driving down the road and the rear tread on his tire delaminated. The tread came around and beat up the fender really bad. It's pushed in about 12 inches. I'm going to show you some of the magic of aluminum and how we can pull it right back out and you'll never be able to tell that it was ever damaged. And today we're going to show you how we do it. Thanks for joining us. All right, I'm going to zoom in on this fender, and you can see that the fender has been pushed back in quite a bit. It's about 12 inches worth of damage there, where it's all been folded. You see where the fender's folded up under? What I'm going to do is I'm going to anneal the aluminum. I'm going to show you how to anneal it, how to make it softer, so that we can actually pull the aluminum back out into the shape that we want. Let's get started on this repair. And this is how you anneal. You see this flame that I have has a lot of soot coming off it. And soot is really wonderful. I can paint that fender just like this with the soot. Just like this. I get the fender all nice and black. I'm going to adjust the flame to a neutral flame. I've got a rosebud torch on here. Big torch, i got a big flame. It's neutral. I've pulled the cones back together. And now all I really have to do is just burn that soot off. The soot burns off at the exact temperature that the aluminum needs to be to anneal. Now when you do this, you want to be very gradual. You don't, you don't heat it up in one place. If you heat it up in just one place, you're very likely to melt the aluminum. If you punch a hole in the aluminum, it's pretty tough to fix. So we're going to come over here and just really gradually heat up this aluminum. There you go. You can see the aluminum starting to, or the, the soot starting to burn off right there. We're just now coming to the end. You see we burned most of the soot off. You don't have to burn every speck off. As a matter of fact, that's pretty dangerous. Because you can punch a hole in the metal, melt it right out. But as soon as you got most of the soot burned off, you're pretty good to go. The aluminum anneals at a very high temperature, right close to the melting point. You don't have much wiggle room, so you just want to keep it moving around. And you'll notice that this is slightly turning gold, right there. That means that's as hot as I can get it. Sometimes it just won't burn off. We're going to use this big plate. And a big hammer. And a big sledgehammer. We've got a really tight crease right here that doesn't want to, doesn't want to come out. I'm going to show you here how tight some of those wrinkles are that we're getting out. Looks like it stretched that wire pretty good, but we'll, we'll bring those dents right out. Big sledgehammers work really well as dollies. Use a pair of pliers here. I've got a, a pretty difficult bend right here. I'm going to try and get out, and I'm going to protect the aluminum body from the pliers with just this little piece of scrap aluminum. Put that right around there like that. And just bend it right out. I need to put the reverse curve back in this where the fender flares out, and so I'm going to use a teardrop hammer. Okay, we got a we got a really tight wrinkle here, and to get now that it, the rough shape is close, we're going to use a hammer, a steel hammer, and a dolly to straighten out the dents now. the round end of this dolly to pound those dents back out. The low area is low here. Then I'll use the flatter part of the dolly right here to smooth the dents out. Feeling the metal to see if 
I can find any low spots, and then I'm hitting them up. This is right where it was folded back, about 180 degrees, right back on itself, and I'm just straightening out this part of the curve right now. You can see this isn't perfect, it's got some waves in it, but you, you don't get everything straight all at once. You gradually pull it until it's all even and perfect. But you can see the main part of the body here is very, very straight now. Just the very few wrinkles that need to come out. I'm working mostly on this flare here. It's always the hardest because there's a lot of shape in it and it's going several different directions. the chisel into the hammer, get right next to the wire. Pulling that little dent right there out. Nice small overlapping blows will straighten out that flare. You can see that it's pretty close now. Now we'll want to come up and little bit fat right there. Right there we got a little bit, a little bit fat. I don't want to pound that down. A good way to pound that down is with a softer mallet like this. Hold it on, I'm going to hold it on the back side. Just ease that aluminum down. Nice shape that pulled that back down in. You zoom in on this little really tight wrinkle here. What we'll do with that is I'll tap that up. If we can't get it perfect, we'll actually just weld it in and then sculpt it off. And you won't be able to see it when we're finished. That's if we can't get the aluminum to move right where we want it. Sometimes it's stretched really far as it's been folded over. So we'll just take it. If we have to, we'll just, we'll just weld in that little divot. But we'll see. We'll see what comes up. Right here, we've got, we got a few little dings there that I want to straighten out. Like this. I want to make a nice, gradual flare. Feel it popping up. Feels pretty good. If you get dust on your hand, it makes it slide easier. Now we're going to use a pick and a file. I'm going to pick up the low areas and I'm going to file it off and we'll make this panel perfectly straight, sand it off, and you'll never be able to tell it was in an accident. When you file it, you go over the surface very gently and it picks off all the high spots. You don't want to dig too hard or too deep or gouge the metal. Everywhere that it's filed, either high spot or flat, where we missed, like right here, you zoom in right there on that, that's a low spot, so we'll pick that up. And I'll pick it up with this pick right here, come right in, and we'll tap it up. And that pick is right in the center. Pick that up. Now watch, when I file that, you'll see where I've hit it. You see that area? Got much smaller. Up, oh, still a little low there, we'll pick that up. Just like this, come on in, tap it up, tap, tap. 
it very hard. It's a little low area there. We'll pick it up soon. First curve area, I'm going to use a round file. See that one area? The first one I was working on is almost gone. And once it's flat, once this all becomes a single plane, it's filed off, the surface will be perfectly flat. What we'll do is we'll just keep working all down the panel until it's all filed out and smooth. Here we finished the pounding out of the fender and the filing and you can see that the fender is all back into shape looking really beautiful see the reflections as I walk by the fender is all straight now that's the original metal pulled right back into shape if we zoom in closely you can see where I filed out all of the little dents the panels all straight and now what we're going to do is sand out the file marks brush it and we'll be finished ready to deliver the car back to the customer. Here I have a dual action air sander. I'm using 80 grit sandpaper and I'm going to sand off all the file marks and get ready to brush them. Okay, after we're done you running the DA over the car and getting out all of the file marks now it's time to brush it. And what we're going to do is try and blend this area into the already brushed part. We just grab a block. We run usually 220 grit sandpaper. This has all been sanded out. We started with 80 grit. From 80 grit we went to 150, 180 grit. From there we'll go to 220. From there we'll go to 320. And then we'll back back down to 220 grit paper. And we'll sand all in straight lines to get a nice brushed finish. We finished brushing out the body, brushed it with 20, uh, 220 grit sandpaper. We blended it up into the other brush part of the car, and you can see the repair is completely invisible now. Thank you so much for joining us today at Kirkham Motorsports University. I'm David Kirkham, the president of Kirkham Motorsports. We look forward to seeing you again soon in our next video.